everyone, this is uh, Evan with Tenacity Ag. Uh, today we're going to show you how to swap the 50 liter tank to the 60 liter tank. Um, what you're going to need for that is going to be a metric set of wrenches, Allen wrenches. Um, you can use power tools or you can do it by hand. Now I would recommend putting it back together by hand just so you're not stripping stuff out. It really sucks when you put the screw in there and then you got to spend another hour trying to get it out. So we'll take this thing off. Um, now it depends on what you want to do. I like to take the pumps and the um, radar on there. Um, I like to take those off first and then take the legs and frame off. So we'll take this off here. Now with this radar, you do want to be a little bit careful with the seal on it. Um, just make sure you're not ripping the seal. It likes to stick on there. Um, just check it and make sure there's no cracks or anything in it. Um, if there is, we do have replacements for those but it's always nice to not wait on a seal. So I'll take that through there, take this out here. Put a little water in there. Now, if you have chemical in there, you probably want some gloves. We have water, so we'll be fine. Next will be the frame. Um, so, actually, let's take these caps off. That way, those are out of the way. Set that off to the side. We can turn well. Okay, let's get these off here first. And you're going to want to um, catch this before it drops to the bottom of the tank because it will suck getting your hand all the way in there. Or they might stick on there like that one does. And now I can flip the tank. Alrighty. We have a 50 liter tank. No holes, no nothing. I can set that off to the side. And it can look pretty in our shop for a while. So, next thing we'll do is we'll grab the 60 liter tank. I'll stick it up here. And take these off. Take these out. Set those out to the side. Now, I actually like to stick the frames on first because they go on a little easier than if you don't have the top mount on there. One thing you want to make sure is you get it on the right way. So this one, the air is pointing forward and out. And that needs to go on the right side of the tank, facing the back of the tank. Get it 
it on its legs. And now we can install the frame or the mount. Well, first things first. Need to install the mount pieces first. Now we can install the frame. And again, make sure the front is towards the front and the back is towards the front or the rear because that can kind of go haywire on you too. And now we can clamp on the legs. Once we get those on, then we can tighten up the bottom. Again with these, don't tighten them all the way until you get all the screws in. Okay, now this is on. Now we can get this stuff on here first. They give you a handy little screwdriver and sometimes it pays to use it. <laughs> So on this one, I have a little nub right there, and that will go in this little hole right there. So, helps you figure out which way it is, which way it goes on there. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go show you guys how to take the propellers off and put the high performance propellers on. Um, it's the same way for changing the propellers as well. Um, so we have our blue, the white ones here. So we've got our propellers here in the box. Now these do come with bushings. So if you pull it apart and something falls out, you didn't break it. And actually, I'm gonna set these bushings off to the side so I don't lose them. I'm gonna set those off right now. And then now we can get over here. These things do have a holder in the bottom there for the nut. Just make sure that's up all the way, otherwise you can strip it out. So we'll go ahead and pop this out. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and I have done this, if you over lock tight them, they can be quite the bear to get off. Okay, we'll set this up to the side here. You want just a lo enough Loctite on these just to get it snug and hold it. You don't want to make it a, like you're putting mayonnaise on your sandwich. Now these do have a post. So if you take the screw out and you're struggling to get this thing out, that's because you have this little piece right here. And there's a little flat spot on it, so it can't, it'll only go in there one way. So if you can see that kind of there. And then the post goes on there. So another thing, if you put too much Loctite on these, it can be kind of a pain to get those out as well. So now that we have those out, I'll take this one off here. 
they slide off. So, and the bushings are on there. These bushings actually, they're fine here. When you get a little bit of dust on there, but they're fine. Set that off to the side. These. Grab our post. Now, always remember, I, I know this is probably self-explanatory, but remember to put the whites on the white and the red on the red. It uh, can go very south on you if you don't. Okay, and then just a little dab, nothing more. Remember, just hold that nut up there and it'll hold itself. Just make sure you're not, uh, so you push it up into there. Just make sure you're not Stripping that bottom piece out. So, there you go. That's how you change props from the old style to the high performance. That's how you change just about any other prop on these. So, yeah.